What's up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. Um, I told you it was going to be a few videos this week. <laughs> well, it's not like I've got anything else to do, is it? Um, right, so we got all this squared up and everything yesterday. I have gone over the sides very lightly with a uh, long series cutter. Basically, I just want to make sure that this surface and this surface is flat and parallel because I need to basically find the center. I don't have to. I've got more than enough wiggle room. It would just, I, I just want it in the middle, basically. <laughs> So I've got the edge finder in, where's your specs? There we go. So we're going to find the centre, set it up on the DRO, and then I'm going to start putting holes in this, I reckon. Right. Right. So, right about there, that is the middle of it, and it looks like the middle of it as well. Um, and I also need to know where that back edge is, because we've got to come forward 67. Right, um, why are you in the way? Then we'll move him forward three mil, which is half the size. Come on, three mil. And we'll zero Y. And I'm also just going to stick that on incremental as well. Right, incremental, zero M, zero M. And back to absolute. Out, splinter. Right, so now I've got a good reference. Okay, so from the middle, this way, the center of the steering stem hole is gonna be um, 67. Right. Mortal changing. <laughs> You're never going to believe this. <laughs> I snapped a bloody drill bit off. And most of it is in the hole. Well, that's junk. Oh, bloody hell. First hole. <laughs> and that happens. I won't run it too quick either or anything else. No. It had loaded WD-40 on it and I was pecking. And it still snapped off. Shitty drill bits, obviously. Right. So how am I going to get that out? Actually, I'm probably not going to bother. Um, I know exactly where that hole is. And I know that this is square and true. So I'm probably just going to flip it over. Because that hole has to go all the way through anyway. I'm going to flip it over and come at it from the other side. With a slightly bigger bit. Bit. Um, Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> oh. Right. 67, come on. 
67. All right, there we go. Okay, I did manage to get it out. So I ain't got to go and see Brett again with his spark eroder. <laughs> I couldn't have faced that. Um, came at it from the other side. So I had to flip it upside down, find all my centers and stuff again. Go, I went slightly off center because that way, because obviously the shapes of the drill is like that. So I went down the side of it with a slightly bigger drill and then I was able to get a drift in there and knock it out. So that's all good. Then I've had to flip it back over again. <laughs> Then indicate it all again to get my zeros, set my DRO up, and we're now back where we was like an hour ago. <laughs> right, let's make the hole a bit bigger. Oh, hang on, speed. What was I on? Um, let's go. Right. <laughs> Right, this is stupid. This this is utterly stupid. I can't get my drills in. <laughs> the drills are too long enough because I've got it on a set of parallels just to get it set up so I've got clearance of the drill. And now I can't get my bloody drills in. So I've got to have it all out again just to change the parallels. However, um, we could be sneaky about this. Where's that? Right, so there's that 10 mil drill rod. He just goes in. And there is no wiggle in it at all. So I'm gonna shove this in a collet. I could just use it to indicate. That hole needs to be opened up to 22 mil. So, um, or actually, do I wanna do that now? I could just drill them all as 10 mil because then I can locate them. Hmm. Right, I think I'm going to drill all of them first to 10 mil uh, and then go from there. Right, where was the next hole going to be? So after a fair bit of goofing about, I've got my three 10 mil holes drilled. So that's going to be steering stem and where the fork legs is going to go. Where's my bit of tool steel? So we know he goes in there. Yes. Yes, it does. And there's, there's virtually no wiggle to it at all. Cool, so I can locate them quite easily, should I need to. And um, the steering stem needs to be opened up to 22 mil um, and I made this peg for the if you've seen the other video when I was mucking about with the rotary table doing that little brake reservoir thing 22 mil happens to be the same size as a handlebar um, and I made a peg for it so at some point I'll locate that under there when I get to it I can use my dowel to get everything central so I know I'm directly underneath it and I can use a boring head to open it up to 22 mil then that is transferable to the rotary table so I can put the radius in. So that would be quite good. Um, I think what I'm probably gonna do is have a go at the underside to do that cut out. Um, Cause I was thinking about it and it's just gonna make, if I don't do it now, it's gonna make clamping it later really awkward <laughs> just cause of the shape of it. So he's coming out, I'll have a little bit of a clean up. Maybe, actually we won't. <laughs> Get on with it, eh? Right then, today is Saturday. <laughs> Yesterday, everything was going wrong. So basically I knocked it on the head because <laughs> I wasn't in the right frame of mind and I was getting a bit annoyed with stuff. And I went home and I've done all my drawings for the step-by-steps and stuff and printed them out and bought them in, so I've got that. However, I was, um, where's my phone? Where is he? I was grabbing through having a look at some of the comments uh, from the last video that went out. Um, and there's a couple of people who chipped in. Um, where are they? Right, Silver33. I'm not sure what your real name is, chap, but um, he chipped in going, well, yeah, you've done it wrong. It's not um, a thousand. 
it's a million that I have to time stuff by. I thought that was a decimal point and it was just written to three decimal places because everything in here seems to be because it's like three decimal places on it. But he's actually right, it is a million. Um, and then there was another fella, I want to say Phil, was it Phil? Um, oh, where is he? Uh, he just went, yeah, you've done it wrong. Where is he? I want to get his name. Um, yeah, Philip Kawasaki. Um, he was really good. He was dead blunt. <laughs> Dude, you've done that wrong. Um, you have compensated for nothing in your demonstration. Your DRO needs now reads 270 when he's actually... 270.29 basically you're still out 0.29 you should have had to go to 270.29 to get your dial back in the hole so i thought well hang on that's like two people that have said something <laughs> i'm going to check it so i came in today and i've checked it and they're spot on they're dead right i got it wrong um this ain't that clear if i'm honest and he is getting a little bit worse for wear look it's covered in oil and stuff <laughs> standard value the standard the mate the thing that made me think about it is with micrometers you get a little standard which is a given length that you can calibrate your your, your um your micrometers to and it said standard value here so i'm assuming well i didn't but i am now standard is the this bit this is my standard effectively and i know that from that hole there to that hole there is 270.29 so what I should have done was the measurement, which is um, 270, which is what this says it is, minus the standard value, which is what it actually is, times by a million, then divided by the standard value, which is the 270.29 again. To do that, you end up with some very different numbers. <laughs> However, just to show that I've gone through and done it right again. We zeroed out on here. Hopefully you can see this. Everything is zeroed out. Um, and the dowel is in the, the, the zero hole. So if I take this out and then move it over to 70.29 according to the DRO. Uh, Two seventy. Come on, 270.29, in that goes in his hole, <laughs> but I did have to change everything out on here, totally, um, so thank you so much for chipping in, because <laughs> I just started this, um, and if it weren't going to be cock on, then the yokes wouldn't fit the bike. Of course, the only trouble is now I'll put some holes in it. <laughs> They're in the wrong place. I have done my uh, Y as well. Um, I can't believe I did that. I really can't believe I did that. But, you know, I mean, the book of words, in, you have to get used to the terminology, and I'm still getting used to the terminology. Um, and like I said in the first video, when I was doing all this stuff, I'm not a machinist. I'm learning. I'm going to cock it up prime example right so let's get him back in there we'll have to indicate it up again and sort me holes out right we're actually looking all right here um so what i did is i've put my block back in on lower um parallels so i can get my drill bits in and then i've just indicated it all so you know i can set a zero and everything else i've done that on absolute and incremental and then according to the drawings i've gone back and i've just put a scratch pass you know like i don't know 0.1 deep or something like that just on where i think all these holes should be and we're not talking a great deal you know the difference between 270 mil and 270.29 mil is bugger all um and to look at it they look basically exactly where they was before. 
um, but they are going to be in a slightly different place. This is annoying as well. Even though I locked all the table off and everything else, it moved five microns. <laughs> it was 0 0.000 when I did my scratch. And now I've finished it and I worked it out, it's 0 0.005. That's going to do my head in. But apparently it is quite normal. <laughs> right, so... Um, I've got another couple of holes to put in here. These 30 mil ones. I think what I'm going to do, because basically I need to indicate off these when I get it on the rotary table. And I do have that peg that fits lovely on a 22 mil. So I think what I'm probably going to do is get these other two holes shoved in. Then I'm going to open everything up to 22 mil. Um, is that a good thing to do? Yeah, stuff it, let's do that. Right. I am pleased those two fellas chipped in. Imagine doing all this work just to find out your holes is in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, we'd have gone blue in here. Right, so we're doing him later. And we're on that bit now. Right, putting big slots in it. So the vice is coming off and Martin's turntable's having a go. Right, let's, um, more setting up. This is part of the troubles. Um, setup for me, it just takes ages. Got a 16 mil cutter in here, which I'm gonna to use to do the slots and take out the underside, basically. That's what I wanna be doing. So essentially I need to shove a, a slot through the middle, rotate the turntable and do that way and then that way. The only trouble is, this is with the table all the way forwards on that T slot. I can't put it all the way on the back one because it's just gonna hit here. Um, but the cutter doesn't clear it. So if I was to shove that in the middle, yes, we clear it easily. Um, 
And if I was to spin that round, it just clears, just. So then we should have enough travel to get all the way through it. Come on, like that, which we do. So that's where he's gonna go. What a pain. Um, right, you need to come, oh actually you don't need to come up on anything, you just need to be clamped down there, don't you? Right, let's uh, zero this to start off with. So you're zeroed, pins in and locked. You need to go the other way around. I'll get some clamps on here. Which isn't gonna be the easiest. Cause it's just in the wrong place. Oh. Right, okay. Actually, let's fix you down first. ages setting stuff up ages and ages and ages you got to dial it all in and then locate it and then check it and then clamp it down and make sure it hasn't moved and check it again and if it has you've got to dial it in again and bloody blah, blah blah that's where all the time goes right then next right then okay so i'm gonna mill a slot which is 30 mil straight through the middle. Uh, is that right? Yeah, we're just going to do a slot 30 mil straight through the middle. Then I'm going to rotate this and widen that slot out, and it's got to go 35 mil deep. So this will take a while. <laughs> right, um, we just do one straight through the middle to kick off with, I think. changing things <laughs> I can I'm allowed um, this is the, the standard Daytona top yoke and as you can see all the underside is open whereas ours is going to drop down at 45 degrees like this now I've just offered this up to the bike and obviously we've got frame tubes and various other bits and pieces coming out the back of it and I don't want there to be any issues with steering left and right. I don't want this to be bashing into the frame basically so we're going to need clearance. Um, 30 mil at the minute is basically just the, the seating cap on top but then you've got the dust seal and various other bits and pieces so I want to open it up to somewhere around the 50 mil marker. So I've been doing some trigonometry again. <laughs> there you go. So I've scooted the x-axis that way. We're going to 22 mil. 
and then I'm going to rotate my table at 10 degrees and 30 minutes, which is, come on, there, and we'll lock him off. And that should give me about 80 mil at the front, 50 mil at the back, ish. <laughs> it's gonna be close enough for what I'm doing. I'm just gonna mimic it on either side and then jobs are good. And so I just got to take out this, these two triangular bits here, which is probably gonna take a while. But there you go. It's not like I've got anything else to do and I can get home when I want. Um, one thing I will say is I'm gonna get a picture of this and show it to you. But where I've took this slot down, you remember that bung that sits in the middle, that peg? Well, I've machined the, the very top of it off. But where I've machined it, because it is such a tight fit in these, these balls that I did, it almost goes invisible, almost. Um, I am gonna get a picture and stick it up, because I'm well proud of that. I couldn't get a tighter fit if I'd have asked for it. Right, actually, where is my phone? getting there we is getting there um right so this face here is basically out to size out to dimension but then halfway down it steps in half a mil reason being is the the end mil i've got i can't do it all in one hit it's not long enough the flutes i do have a four fluted jobby which is long enough so i'll be using that to do a cleanup pass but then i've also left like you know the corner still in there because i've got this it's a 10 mil bull nosed M mil. So I can use that to put a radius in there just so I haven't got any sharp corners or anything. Um, I was open to get the other side done as well today. So it's got the, you know, the, the underside of the yokes is basically there. Um, but I'm running out of time. It is gone eight. I've yet to eat anything. I've had an awful lot of coffee though. A bit like that. <laughs> but Brian is doing great. He's doing really, really well. Um, I am pleased with it. I think I lost a load of time where I had to work out, you know, do all the flaming trigonometry stuff again to work out this opening and the angles that I needed. But it's working well. And this thing, this rotary table that Martin gave me, is absolutely solid. Nothing moves. Nothing. Else. You lock it all down and it's just there. There is no vibration to it at all. Um, I'm only doing, you know, quite shallow cuts really, sort of two mil. And I'm, I'm just whittling my way down, but Brian seems happy doing that. Go much more than that and he starts to grumble a bit. So we just whittle it down and we do it at our own pace and that's all good. So anyway, uh, tomorrow is Sunday. I'm back in here all day again, so I'm definitely getting that lot done and we'll carry on with whatever's coming up next. I do need to redo those diagrams just to reflect that change that I've done. Um, so yeah, I'm back in again tomorrow. There will be another video coming, but then on Monday, <laughs> Monday morning, I might be having a bit of a spritz up at home because Sam's back on Monday night and I'll be working during the day. So that's my only chance to clean it all up. <laughs> oh, it's not, a, you know, it's not really messy. I have got a fair amount of laundry. <laughs> But that's where I'm leaving it. Thank you ever so much for joining us, and we'll see you on the next one. Ladies! <laughs>